All right, so we are making teriyaki chicken and the ingredients are meringue, red wine vinegar, teriyaki, blackstrap molasses, honey, and of course the chicken. So I'm using one cup of teriyaki. The next ingredient is rice vinegar, which I do not have, so I'm substituting with a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Next, we need six tablespoons of honey. Stir in the honey until it's melted in. Next, we need six tablespoons of meringue. If you don't have meringue, you can substitute with white wine. Your recipe will not be as sweet if you use a white wine. Two third cups of brown sugar. If you don't have brown sugar, use one tablespoon of black strap molasses to turn your sugar brown. Two teaspoons of non-iodized salt. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. Two teaspoons of ground ginger. Four teaspoons of sesame oil. We're going to put this on the stove and let it boil for five minutes. Then we're going to add in our chicken thigh pieces and let them cook for another five minutes. This is five pounds of chicken. This has been boiling for five minutes, so it's time to put in the chicken. So stir in the chicken, then bring it back to a boil. And let it cook for five minutes. While the chicken is boiling, I'm getting my jars ready for canning. Now, if you're not going to be canning your chicken, cook it until the chicken is done. We'll be back when the chicken has been cooking for five minutes. So the chicken has been cooking for five minutes and I just turned it off. I'm going to use a slotted spoon to get the chicken into the jars. And once I have the chicken in the jars, then I'm going to add in the teriyaki sauce so I can distribute it evenly. And I'll be right back. All right, we have six pints of chicken, each one with about an inch and a half of headspace. And I'm going to add in the liquid. All right, so we didn't quite have enough liquid so we're going to make up for the difference using some chicken stock. All right, so we're going to debubble and add some more liquid if we need it. We're going to leave about an inch and a half of headspace. Clean the rims with water or vinegar. Make sure there's no sticky teriyaki on the rims. Put the rims on, put the lids on, finger tight.
All right, I can only get five jars at a time into the pressure canner. So these are ready to go and we will pressure can for 75 minutes. We'll be back. All right, so the canning is done. As you can see, it's still boiling. There we go. So we're going to let that cool off. And I'll get the last one in the pressure canner. I don't know if you had that. The jar is already starting to seal. It smells so good in here. It's been about 10 minutes and they're still boiling. I should probably have mentioned that this recipe is from Angie Snyder's book Pressure Canning for Beginners and Beyond on page 137. Goodbye, everyone. Still simmering.